Hey guys, it's Rianne, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my day and night skincare routines. I'm actually going to do a second skincare video as well where I'm gonna share with you guys all the facials that I do and the masks, so that'll be more like skin maintenance. Um, and today's video is gonna be what I usually do on a day-to-day -day basis. To give you guys just a short little background on my skin, when I was in middle school and in high school, I had terrible acne through all of those years. I had active acne breakouts, especially on my temples, um, but you know, I'd get them on my nose, I'd get them on my cheeks, and my chin was a hot spot for me as well. Um, so acne is just something I've always struggled with um, and I just never thought I'd be a person who would have good skin. So I'm super excited because now I have added a lot more steps to my skincare routine, but I finally have skin that is so clear, clearer than I ever would have imagined. And most days I don't wear makeup and I feel completely comfortable with my skin the way that it is without makeup, which is a huge deal for me because when I was in middle school and high school, that was so not the case. For me, skincare is such a huge part of self-care, especially when I'm doing my routine at night. Um, I really just kind of take that chunk of time to really like, focus on myself and to wind down. And it's a huge part of my like nighttime routine. I don't want you guys to watch the skincare routine and get overwhelmed because I know it is a lot of steps. Um, but I have to tell you, my skin is the best it has ever been in my entire life. It is so clear and radiant and I haven't had an acne breakout in such a long time now. I mean, I maybe will get like one blemish here or there because it's still skin, um, but my skin is just flawless most of the time. It's so amazing too because as I mentioned, I had really bad acne in high school and middle school, and I had so many acne scars and I had really uneven skin tone because of it. So I have been able to use these products that I'm gonna show you guys in order to help the luminosity and it just looks so glowy cleared up my skin and it also helped to reduce um, having kind of like um, uneven skin tone as well. And again, I know it seems like a lot of steps, but it really only takes me five minutes, maybe maximum. Um, and again, I kind of build it into the end of my day as a way to unwind and kind of just get ready for bed and to take some me time. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with my daytime skincare regimen. It is actually super minimal. I didn't even film it because I only wear two products. Um, but the first thing I do when I wake up is I splash water on my face. Um, I don't use Use cleanser in the morning because if you're stripping your face too often of those natural oils, it's actually gonna boost the oil production. And of course that can lead to oily skin. Um, so the next step is a crucial step for me and that is to apply sunscreen. This is so important and you need to make sure you do it every single day. Um, so the sunscreen that I prefer is the Athelios 60 La Roche-Posay. Um, this is the Fluid Veil sunscreen. I am obsessed with this stuff. Um, for a long time it was hard for me to find a sunscreen that I really liked to wear under my makeup just because so many of them were chalky. Um, they would leave like a white residue and they felt really heavy. This doesn't do any of that. It's super lightweight. It glides right onto the skin and it just, you know, gets absorbed. Um, and it has a SPF of 60. UV rays can cause premature signs of aging. So this is extremely crucial. After I have my sunscreen on, I like to moisturize and I use this, which is the Dior Hydro Life Fresh Hydration Sorbet Cream. It's extremely light and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I love that smell so much. This is a really lightweight formula, and again, it glides right into the skin and gets soaked in, um, so that way my skin is perfect for me putting on my primer and my makeup, etc. cetera. Um, but yes, oh, I love this so much, and it just smells so luxurious. And one of the things that I'm a huge believer in is just working like little bits of luxury into your life throughout the day. Um, and so this is kind of how I do it in the morning is to just use this fresh hydration cream from Dior um, and just get the smell on my body and like smell it throughout the day. And it's just so, it's a luxurious experience and I love it. My nighttime skincare regimen really begins and ends with Diptyque. Um, so the first thing that I do is I light a Diptyque candle to kind of start winding down from the day. And this one is one of my favorite candles of all time. This this is the myrrh candle and oh, it smells so, so good. It kind of has like a woody um, undertone. It almost smells like the inside of a sauna to me and it's just so calming and relaxing. I could smell this all day. <laughs> um, I love this so much. And then the first product that I use in my nighttime skincare regimen is the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser. This is a makeup remover and a cleanser all wrapped into one. So I'll start by splashing water on my face and then I'll take a pump of this and kind of lather it in my hands. And then I really focus on my eyes just because that's where I put the most amount of makeup. And then I kind of take it, you know, around the rest of my face. Um, but on days where I'm wearing my everyday makeup or when I'm not wearing any makeup at all, this is perfect for me to be able to cleanse and get all the makeup off my 
my face. On days or nights when I'm wearing a heavier makeup look, I add another cleansing step, and that is to use the Lancome Bifacil Face. This is a makeup remover. Um, I have been using the Bifacil for such a long time because this is a holy grail for my mom, um, and this is a new one that they have that's a micellar kind of version of the same thing. Um, this is amazing. I'll take this on a cotton round and really focus it on where I have my eye makeup because that's usually the most uh, stubborn makeup on my face. One of the things I really like about this is that it's so gentle, and it's also kind of almost a dry oil kind of a feel, um, so it definitely helps you to take off the makeup without having having to do a ton of rubbing um, on your skin, which you definitely do not want to do in the eye area, so I am very thankful for this product. <laughs> I am so excited to share this next thing with you. Um, it's one of my favorite beauty tools, and it is from Le Mew, and this is called the Skin Perfector. So what you do is you can turn it on, and it has low, pulse, and high, um, and basically what it does is it like vibrates at a frequency that you actually can't see with the human eye, but if you touch it, you can feel it vibrating, um, and it is so great. So what I'll do is um, you just wet your face. You don't have to use any cleanser or anything. Um, and then you just take the spatula and you kind of just run it along your face. It's basically just the best pore cleaning machine and it also exfoliates. So I'll use this, it gets so much gunk off my face. And then what I'll do is I'll just take some rubbing alcohol and I'll disinfect it. And then it's ready to go for the next time. So I'll use this once or twice per week. And to go and get a facial where they would use this same device is over $100, which is so crazy to me. Um, so I really like having my own because I like to do it, like I said, once or twice a week. This does amazing things for my pores, but it also helps with overall texture and lines and wrinkles as well. I saw a huge improvement with my skin after I started using this, and it's a much gentler way also to like kind of clear out those pores rather than picking at them. Um, so this has just been amazing for me. It basically just shakes all the gunk out of your pores, and it's amazing. <laughs> after I'm done cleansing, the next thing I move on to is serum, and I switch between two serums. Um, so the first one is by Ola Hendrickson, and this is the Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Um, I love this. I saw a huge improvement in my skin when I started using this, especially with like the brightness and luminosity amazing results. My skin just looked so much more radiant and this helps with anti-aging as well because it has a collagen booster. So I'll use that on days when I feel like my skin needs more brightening and on days when I feel like my skin is looking like a little bit more tired um, and my fine lines are looking more pronounced, I will go in with the Lancome Advanced Genifique Serum. This does wonders for the elasticity of my skin, the smoothness of my skin, and the radiance of my skin. I also love that this is anti-aging because for me one of the biggest goals is to take the best Best care that I possibly can of my skin because you only get one skin, you know? <laughs> After serum, I move on to eye cream and I like to layer two eye creams. Um, the first one that I use is the Rodan and Fields Multifunction Eye Cream. I love this so much because I have seen such a noticeable improvement um, in the fine lines around my eyes and kind of the crow feet area. Um, and this just does wonders to kind of reduce those lines and kind of flatten them back out. Um, the second eye cream that I use is by Belief, and this is the Moisturizing Eye Balm. I love this stuff as well, so I'll put this on top of this. Um, and this is just extremely hydrating. I don't really know why, but the skin underneath my eyes gets very, very dry. So I love to use this in order to kind of bring that hydration back into my under eye area. I absolutely love both of those products for my under eyes, but I still feel like I have dark circles and bags. So right now I'm actually looking into um, different options as far as injections go. Um, um, so let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing kind of a before and after if I were to do something like that because I have tried so many products and I just really, I don't like having to cake on so much concealer every day too because I feel like I'm just making the problem worse. Um, but yeah, I thought I would throw that in there too because I still haven't addressed that problem. It's a work in progress. <laughs> The next product that I use is by Skin Iceland and it is the Angelica Line Smoother. I love this stuff. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know it doesn't come in a tub anymore, now it comes in a pen. Um, I'm gonna have every product linked down below, of course. Um, but if you click on it and you're wondering why it's in a pen form, they just like changed the packaging. And it actually might be better that way because the places I use it on my face I think would be really convenient to have in a pen. But the product in the pen is the same and it's amazing. I saw the fine lines next to my eyes when I started using this virtually disappear, which is like unheard of. And the ingredients in this product not only fight against signs of aging, but they also 
also prevent future signs of aging from happening, um, which like I said, is so huge for me. And I really like to focus this product right here on my smile lines because I smile and laugh a lot. Um, and I started to see kind of like, you know, a wrinkle forming right here. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna start putting that there. And it has made such a difference for me um, doing that as well. So every night I will put this here and under my eyes. The next thing I put on my face is a Retin-A. And it was after I started using this that I was like, oh my gosh, good skin is actually attainable for me. Even though my Retin-A cream is prescription, I did pretty extensive research and I found a cream that is very similar in chemical makeup and it is a retinol. So I have that linked in the information bar below. I haven't personally tried it, but I would guess that it's probably pretty close to what I use. So to seal all of those amazing products into my skin, I apply a moisturizer and I use the Capture Total by Dior. This is La Creme Multi Perfection. And I know that they just came out with something called Capture Youth, which I am very, interested in trying um, but this is just amazing this is like the little infusion of luxury into my skincare routine at night the specialty of this cream is toning and keeping the skin taut so I really love to use this at the end of my skincare routine just because I really want to make sure that I'm keeping my skin taut um, so I'll use it not only on my face but I also use it on my neck and chest area as well and I have the very unique experience of having my face documented over the past eight years via my YouTube videos. So over the course of the years that I've been making YouTube videos, I have seen my skin lose some of its elasticity. So even though you might be thinking I seem kind of young to be worrying about toning and elasticity, um, it's kind of more about doing it incrementally and slowing down the aging process, not about fighting it completely. Um, so I just wanna make sure that I'm doing everything I can to help my skin. But I love this cream so much and it smells absolutely divine. I love to do a deep cleanse of my skin every time I wash my hair in the shower. Um, and so to do so, I use the Clairsonic Mia. This is the Mia one and I love it so much. I see such a difference um, when I'm deep cleansing regularly with this versus when I'm not, it's incredible. If you're not familiar with the Clairsonic, it is a vibrating cleansing face brush. Um, and I love it so much because it's waterproof. And I definitely prefer to deep cleanse my face in the shower just because with all the steam and everything going on, your skin starts to kind of loosen up and it's so much easier um, to cleanse your skin when it's in that state. And I'll usually leave the space of a day between using the Skin Perfector that I showed you guys earlier and using this little baby. I have used other skin cleansing brushes in the past, but Clairsonic is the best in the business for a reason. I don't know what took me so long to get one because I am absolutely in love with mine. The Clairsonic cleanses six times better than just hands alone. Um, and it really eradicates the dirt and oil that builds up on my skin, which is gross to think about, but a reality. The other really cool thing about Clairsonic is that you can change out the brush heads. Um, so this is the Radiance brush head, which is what I'm using now. This is just a backup of that. Um, but there is also a deep pore brush head, which I know like, especially if I go on like a trip or something, my pores always get so clogged. So I know this will be perfect for that. And then I also have the Acne Cleansing brush head and the one that I'm really interested to see how it works. Um, this is the Sonic foundation brush. So you can actually affix this to your Clairsonic and apply foundation, which I think is really cool and interesting and I definitely wanna try. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, my skincare routine at night really begins and ends with Diptyque, with me starting with the candle and ending with this body cream. This is the Creme Riche Pour Le Corps and this is basically a super rich body cream. So at night I climb into bed and then the last thing I do before I go to sleep is I put this on my hands um, and my elbows especially. Um, but it is so luxe. It smells amazing as all Diptyque products do and I love it so, so much. It's just, again, like injecting a little bit of luxuriousness into your regular life. It has so many great ingredients like rose water, organic honey, organic argan oil. I mean, it's just so, so nice and it smells like Byzantine rose, which is amazing. <laughs> it's such a lovely way of wrapping up my unwinding routine before I go to sleep. So that brings me to the end of my morning and night skincare regimens. Like I said, I will have another video coming very soon that has everything to do with the facials I get, the masks I get, and then also the body skincare products that I use. Um, so keep an eye out for that, I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any products, let me know, I'm happy to answer them. Um, don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram, it's at Rianne Star. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye guys.